Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm in one of my most favorite communities here in Central Florida, in the Monteverse section, and we are in Bella Kalina with the Villa Homes, and this is the Savannah model behind me. Now the Savannah model is a four bedroom, four and a half bathrooms, four car garage, amazing, with 3,984 square feet, and all the bedrooms are an ensuite, meaning that they have their own bathrooms attached to them. It's an incredible custom home. We're gonna try to explain everything to you as you can just design anything that you want with this home from the doors to the floors, the way you like it. And as we go through the home, we'll explain that. Now, before we go, the HOA is 310 a month. The CDD is 2162 yearly, right? There is a sports and golf option. Then there's a food beverage that is a 900 yearly charge that you can use the clubhouse and eat and all that other stuff. But let's get into this home. All right, guys, so here we are with the tour. Let's start. Now, obviously, we have this great slate uh, pavers that go from the sidewalk all the way up to your front door, right? Now, we also have the front of the home, which is an ultra modern look with a twist, right? What I do love is that your two ginormous, yes, I said it, ginormous garages are set on the side of the home. It's side loaded, which I love. Love the uh, coach lights, which are really big, but I do like the rafters that hold up the uh, soffits, that overhang. Look at the overhang of the roof. It's like at least two feet more, right? Very nice. And that follows throughout the whole theme of the home on the roofing with the slate tile on the roof. Love that as well. We got our bay windows out here extra long windows in the middle that complement those big double doors which you can change if you want if it's part of your design plan now let's move in guys anthony i just want to say i'm excited to show this house today <laughs> pam's excited guys <laughs> so we have an extra large foyer which matches the roof style of the home in height which is really nice you got your shutters here which are full shutters right which is also a nice touch to the southern look of the home right that gray sl slate pavers as i told you follow but these doors what is these like 10 feet easily easily 10 foot doors but you know what i haven't seen on modern like luxury homes is this gorgeous like combo lock that's very true yeah they don't do the combo locks much. It's usually the production builders, but hey, we're following suit, getting modern on you. <laughs> now guys, we come into the home and we have that long, that tall foyer as we come through. This is about 12 feet, right? I like to mention in the foyer section how they did the uh, faux wood tiling with the Schluter edges around. That is a small option upgrade. Right, but I do like also the wallpaper that they did with the bump outs on the wall, just giving the home extra touches of texture. We have now this beautiful chandelier feature and you do get a budget for your lighting fixtures. So that is awesome, right? Now, Pam, we're gonna roll out into the living room area. Pam, and while we're doing that, can you give the estimated size for just this model, the Savannah? Just the living room? Yes. 24 by 21. 24 by 21 is the size. So your family can sit here very comfortably, right? Enjoy, you know, sitting by the fireplace, watching Netflix or the Super Bowl, whatever you want, right? But we have nice seating and you can see how you can fit your furniture in this home as it is. So I love it. Now we have a bumped out tray ceiling, as you can tell. Go ahead. Which is included. It's included, yep. And that bumps it out to almost 14, right, Pam? About, All right, yes. and then we also have another nice chandelier fixture here, but look, what is incredible about this room is that you have these pocket doors on the side. Now they open like the traditional way, which is like the French way, French um, open doors, but you can put a accordion style pocket if you want when you get to your design center options. Now let's go to the left side of the home. Now these doors do follow out to your enclosed patio area as well. There's a lot to show guys. So you're gonna, I'm gonna be back and forth on you. <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep up with you. So let's go to the dining area because we're here first, <laughs> right? Here is this dining area here. Pam, do you have the measurements on this? 12 by 22. What I love within this package is, again, you can have the French style open doors here, but you can make these pocket accordion as well. But then the roof bumps out and you have the faux 
beams on the top. I love that with this light fixture. And this table is super long. I mean, 10 people easily, right? Yeah. So think about your Thanksgiving dinners, your Easter dinners, holidays, family gatherings, birthdays. You know, you got enough space. <laughs> so as we turn to the right, we get into our gorgeous kitchen. Now this has the dovetail curve on the end with the four seats so you can fit four people comfortably here you have the deep sink with the gooseneck in gold gold is coming back guys all right you have your chandeliers here well those are actually um the uh light the pendant, pendant lights yeah the pendant lighting right they're just really big yeah no <laughs> right? but then you get the pendant lighting and also again you get another tray ceiling in there. right i love that and it's like that curve it follows the curve of the island very nice now um, Pam, correct me if I'm wrong, but the way the kitchen is seen, that is with a $30,000 appliance package that they are providing with you. Yes. Uh, it's like an allowance, right? And if you don't go over that allowance, you can pour that uh, money into certain other objects in the home or other options, right? But just to give you a, a look at what their standard is, right? We have soft closed drawers here. And in this particular package is white and with the gold uh, handling. Also the, what is it like, Calcutta marble? Yes. That is like a slight upgrade as well. So you might want to look into that when you get to design, if you're building the home out with them. Now we have 42 inch cabinets with the overhang, which is standard, am I correct? Correct, that is okay. standard. We have our display cases. Now, is that standard? That could be option. It's, That's it, an option. It's depending on which way you want to go. Right, and now remember, trip. this is a fully custom home, guys. So um, different to some of the homes that we show here, you have, every decision making process every decision to make on every piece of this home you can change whatever you want color schemes all that if you don't want this marble you can get whatever courts you want it all changes depending on what you want right so lots of options <laughs> lots of options we have sub well, white subway towels here we do have windows here that provide natural lighting, which has another sink. Which is very nice. Look at that. So you have your little cutting sink. I think that's what the chefs call them, right? Where you cut your little strawberries and your onions. Yeah, you cry in the your corner. Vegetable, your vegetable. Your vegetable, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cry in the corner. Don't cry in the main sink, okay? <laughs> no, but what I do like is the dual gas range. Very nice. So you have eight burners on this with a pot filler, with that Calcutta marble. Uh, up on the backsplash side. And then this range reminds me of those, those organs in the churches. <laughs> this is huge. Look at this guys, very big with that wood finish. I love it, looks really good. Takes all, this takes more than all the smells out the house. Yeah. I might take the paint with it, <laughs> this is big. But you have also your, you know, your floating shelves here with the LED lighting, very nice. Go ahead. Well, that's something you can design. Yes. If you want cabinets yeah. here, you can do cabinets, yes. you could do open shelving. Or you can copy this if it inspires you. Yes. So that's nice. I love, the appliances are off the hook here. Look at this. So you have- It's two. <gasps> no. Staggered dishwashers. Oh my gosh. Or stacked, I'm sorry, stacked rather. Stacked dishwashers, so this one for, if you're, you know, you don't want to bend all the way. And then here's another one. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's really nice, right? Uh, I did mention everything was soft slam. And then here we have our convection and regular oven here by Fisher and Peco, right? Very nice. So high industry type of appliance equipment, you know, cook a turkey really fast. That's what I, I think. And then this is what I love. So it looks like a regular built-in. This is actually your Sub-Zero. And you know what? They have Diet Coke just for you. Oh yeah, they know I was coming. Yeah, they have the, sh the champagne. <laughs> they have for Zero. Me. They have Coke Zero too. Uh, the champagne's for but me. Look at the freezer side as well. So it is the French door style. Freezer on the left, regular refrigerator on the right, but plenty of space, guys. Love that. Very nice. And the same Fisher & Paykel refrigerator sub-zero in there i love the little built-in they did on the top that's really nice yeah, right? the design features yeah are that, that's so very unique so they will work with you but i do do want you to notice that they do have the double stacks that follow through the theme of the kitchen on top as well now before we get to this area we're going to skip into this hallway all right and we i mean we can show you everything but it's just better if you come because look things like this where you have more built-in items with oh, pull-out pull shelves. Outs. That's nice. Oh, that is. That's nice. And you have three of them. I'm not gonna roll all three out for you, but 
<laughs> now I do like this little drop and stop here, right? This is more like the butler's pantry, right? So this is where they would cater from if you had a catering event. Love this um, floating shelves that match the rest of the home going through. Again, more drawers, right? You can add more stuff on the top there if need so, but that is directly across from your regular pantry room as well. Very, this is not regular. Well, <laughs> it's a, it is a walk-in, right? It even has a window, <laughs> but um, very nice. The built-ins are, an, you know, optional upgrade, but you know, this is something that you can do very easily. Love it. Very nice, neat, clean looking, right? And this is what you expect from a luxury home. Now, look at this, guys. I got to show you this. We got a window here for our drop and stop area. The garage door is behind us here, but I want to take a look at this built-in drop and stop bench that they put for you. You can do touches like this throughout your custom home. Fantastic. Love the hat hooks, love the padding. So they're considering that if you're tired, you sit back, you don't want hardwood on your back. Love that you can put your shoes under there, right? Here is a linen closet here for you. Yeah, obviously they got the right idea. Cleaning supplies next to the laundry room. Can I go show them the garage? Yes, you can. Guys, I, when I was saying ginormous garage, we're not joking. This is a huge garage. It's like a, at least a four car garage. And is, the floor does come finished. The epoxy floor is included. Yes. And the garage is 23 by 38. Yes. Now they got equipment in here because of course it is a model home. But I want you to notice that the two windows for natural light that come from the side with the shading system. So they don't have to see your Ferrari parked in this beautiful garage. That's all for you. <laughs> so again, and there is a side door entrance on the back side, so you can escape and go that way to the side of your home. Very nice, very nice. Now, we're gonna back up a little and go and show you what is involved with our laundry room. Now again, this is a custom home, so they can do built-ins for your laundry, such as a built-in that elevates the washer and dryer incredible that's amazing that is like like my wife is always like you got to get something because this my back is killing me this i think i'm gonna have to get this <laughs> yeah well i'm so short mine is the top load i'm like yeah diving into yeah. it and no space is wasted as you got your basket hole here but look at the drawers guys where you can fold right on top Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Pam just, is just I'm, like, I'm why, just my why am not, why have I not won the lottery yet? <laughs> what is going on with my life? <laughs> and then these are just regular cabinets that you can store more stuff in, right? Of course, we have the bowl for our pet friendly friends, but above the pole, I want you to notice that you have a data panel for all of the Wi-Fi needs of your home business needs, such as that. Now, if you don't want to fold that low, you have surface area here and here with this white quartz, and I'm in the way, sorry. Um, so you can fold a little higher level, but I love the window and you have a utility sink, which is so fantastic, right? Again, soft slam drawers that will be here for any more storage items that you may need. Love the uh, wallpaper, it's very nice and cutesy. But again, a ten, almost like a nine and a half, 10 foot ceiling height, just in the laundry room, fantastic. So they have not missed the mark on any of these things. Now, what we're gonna do is roll back down. You know what I forgot to mention, Pam? No. The bar space on the back side of the dining room. That's an option. Yes, so it's an option. But I do like that little built-in where you can put the plants up and the wine rack is very nice. The, the way it's lit up is yes. beautiful to me. Yep. So all my wine fans out there, that's the option for you. <laughs> so now we're going to hit this way first. I'll let, I'll go. <laughs> and uh, we're going to show this bedroom, which of course is an ensuite, right? Pam, you know the size? 13 by 13. 13 by 13 is the size of this bedroom. We have two windows here for natural lighting. Love that, but you gotta look at the walk-in closet, right? Because all the, the closets in this home are pretty much walk-ins, right? You can do the buildings for a slight option upgrade, right? And obviously that's a design center appointment to talk about, but the option is there because this is a custom home for you. Now, guys, en suite, so we have a full bathroom here with a linen closet. So you just gotta take a look at the vanity set, the shower set. I'm drawn to the shower, the yeah, tile. It's very nice. The tile is 
Some I've never seen that before. Like the sandstone with the texture, it's very nice. Yeah. It's a clean look. With I the love window. The, yeah, I love the uh, seamless glass doors. We have some more um, uh, uh, quartz, sorry, here, and then we have a linen closet. But look at look at all the attention to detail that are in these luxury homes. Look at these little drawers on the side, and they're all soft slam, right? So, like nothing is spared, even for your guests or you know one of your children. They're all gonna get the luxury that the home deserves as well in their bedroom. Guys, now we gotta flow right through. Now, I like to call this the mid ensuite. Now, let me explain. We do have our closet here, right? Up on the side, right? We do have two windows for natural lighting, so no room gets blocked out. You know, sometimes you go into homes and you get like a room that has a, it's facing, uh, there's no window or it's facing somebody's, no. That doesn't happen here. You have nice two windows for a good size bed. Now, Pam, what's the size of this bedroom? Also 13 by 13. 13 by 13. But behind me, you have the same theme as the other bathroom that you just came from, but you have your own set here. So again, which makes it an ensuite. Love it. Love it. Same material, same stamp stone. Even on the tub, you have the seamless glass. Yeah, I have to get a close up of that. Yep. And then Pam, don't forget, uh, once you finish showing them that, the niche, with the Schluter edging, um, all that sandstone, love the texture of, the, of that bathroom. Once you close that glass door for the tub, which is amazing that they even have that on top of the tub, you have a linen closet here on the side. And you know what's nice about the linen closet is they're not giving you the wire shelves. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No wire shelves included. Guys, now, the why we call that the mid ensuite is because we get into another section of the home that is a casita. Oh my goodness. All those people that are looking for a casita, all those people that are looking for a next gen like suite or just a separate space for a college student, we start with your shower with the same tiling, right? Now the reason why this shower is here, right, is because there's an outer door right here. We're gonna come back and show you why that is. Now, as we flow through this casita, we have a linen closet here across from the commode. Pam will show you that. And again, no wire shelves included, all <laughs> premium stuff. I love that you have a little notch out for a bench here. Yes. That's actually really cool because I'm the type of person that brushes my teeth and puts my shoes on. <laughs> and then here is- TMI, the, TMI. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> and here is uh, that quartz, I love it. And the same um, cabinetry as we saw before. So the theme flows through the home, but guys, rolling this way, full walk-in closet. Again, those built-in shelves are optional. Right? And then across from Pam on that walk-in closet is another linen closet. So we do not spare for storage in this. We're not starving for it in this home. It's there for you. But then look, a media room attached to the casita. This is gorgeous. So we have four windows letting in natural light with the black theme framing with that, that is uh, following the theme of the home, which I love. We have this feature wall here with a TV. Now, just me guys. I would get a bigger TV, but you know me already. That's the way I roll. I love the cadenza or the TV stand here. Very nice. And this modern couch fits very easily. So it gives it to the, you know, the game, game room, the theme room, uh, the uh, media room presence of the home. Now, I told you we we're gonna go to that door to show you where it goes to. We're actually gonna cheat. We're gonna skip through this door because it goes to the same space, right? And then this door leads to your outdoor area. Guys, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This, this, is, this, is where I, this is where I live. This is your Lanai area. And you can see all the French doors built around. All those can be accordion sliding doors if you wish. But look at the space. That's, the, that's a TV. This space is 20 by 24. 20 by 24 with the fireplace here, with a feature wall, faux chimney feature wall here. Big TV, the way it's done. And you do get that tray. Oh, tray ceilings. Not so with the wood, but you do get the tray ceiling. Five cutouts for the tray ceiling. 
love it. Now, if you wanted to upgrade for the full wood to give it that look with the high hot, it's a very nice clean look, love that. Now, we also have to show you another option. There's Tavertine that follows the L section of the home and that goes to the home owner's side, master, uh, master suite, primary bedroom suite on that side. But I love the gazebo ed, um, look that it follows matches, that. It matches the front of the house. It does. It does. I do love the double stack on the windows on each, uh, on top of each door. Very nice. But I have to explain, here is your summer kitchen, right? And Pam, is this included? Yes, the summer kitchen is included. So everything is included here except for the full wood tile. Correct. And you can add that if you want, if you like that look. If not, you can change that or you can leave it plain stucco. It's up to you. But you get the range, you get the grill, you get the, you know, obviously to um, work under there. You got the freezer here. Very nice, right? You actually have a utility sink and three GFCI, GFCI switches and then access for the plumbing. This is like, fantastic now you have the outdoor eating area and we have another option upgrade that we need to mention and that's the pull down automatic shades you can actually add that on as an option package if you don't you know want mosquitoes in your margaritas <laughs> right but i mean i'm being out here and i think there's natural plant life out here that because i don't see it too many mar um, no, mosquitoes there's no bugs no, every time i've yeah. gone to bella clean i really don't get too many bugs now guys what is also included is the faux grass, right? AstroTurf. It's with the pool package. With the pool package. Oh, there we go. See, that's why I got Pam. She, she corrects me. So if you get the pool option, right, you get the AstroTurf, which is nice. You never have to mow it. You never have to feed it. It's always the same. So that is really, really nice. And imagine a pool package like this. This is incredible, Pam. That it's, it's beautiful. Oh, oh. You know, one of my favorite parts of this pool package it's not only that you have the lawn furniture here and then the hot tub across, but I do like the WeatherTech deck that they have attached to the pool. That's just a nice feature. The wood feel under your feet right before you get into the pool and doesn't burn your feet. You're not on like hot, hot tiles. So I like that very, very much, right? Now the Tavertine follows around the whole section of the pool all around. And now this lot, this lot is almost an acre, isn't it, Pam? Yes. Yeah, so we don't have the, you know, obvious, and it could be a different lot for you, right? Unless you're buying this particular home, but this is about an acre lot and this is what it looks like, right? So you have all your amenities here up front, close to the house, but look how much space you have back there. You can't even see where it is. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. With the conservation look, love that. Now they do have lake front properties as well, but you gotta call and find out about that. So guys, Let's do a little speed run back to the home and show you what's inside the other side of the home. So guys, you're here. We go right in. I'm gonna let Pam go through the curtains first. <laughs> right. And we're back in our living room space, right? Mm -hmm. Follow me this way as what I missed right before we came into the entrance because we went to the left side of the home is your library or quote unquote flex room space. Now you can make this a study, a library. You can make this an office space. You can make this anything you want. You have the tray ceiling, which is included, which bumps this out to 14 feet, right? Which is very lovely. Now the built-ins are not included. That might have to be something that you do at Design Center, but they have this as almost a conference room. Go ahead, Pam. 13 by 14. 13 by 14 and you can get these seamless sliding glass doors. I mean, stop me. seamless glass doors, not sliding, they're French they, open. If you want it sliding, but I guess if you want there, it, yeah, sliding, it, it depends on what you decide at Design Center, but very beautiful. Love the chandelier sets. So the, remember, you do get a 7,500 lighting fixture um, um, permission or, or allowance. allowance, there you go. Oh my gosh, I must've been in the sun too long, sorry. <laughs> but notice that the flooring does flow out through all the homes 
And go ahead, Pam. Now the flooring can be staggered. Mm -hmm. that could, that's one of the options that you can have. Mm -hmm. And within that $1.6 million price, the builder has took considerations that you would choose a floor like this. So it doesn't necessarily need to be this color, but you can do something as a similar floor when you get into the design center. And if it fits within that budget and that package, they can do it for you. So it's a custom home. <laughs> now we go into the living room space right before the living room I'm, I'm sorry the uh, homeowner space before we get into that we have a half bath here very nice which i like the sink and what i mean by the homeowner space is that this part of the home is only for the primary right you have one side of the home that's solely your primary you know what i'm going to do i'm going to go this way first oh man yep yep no no we got to tease them right so we got his and hers walk-in closets Again, the built-ins are an option, so you can decide what your built-ins look like or feel like, or even the color if you so wish. Then we move into the primary bedroom suite with a bumped up large tray ceiling, love that. And then we have five windows lining the room. So we have two on each side of this king size bed, right? And then I just love the modern look. And then we have a tray ceiling on top that bumps out, and this has got to be like at least 14 feet no, ceiling height. Wrong. No? Guess again. Uh, 15, 16? Uh, 16. 16 by 16 21. Feet. Yeah, I lose, I lose depth after 14. <laughs> <laughs> this is so big. Now, I love what they did with the feature wall, but again, this is a custom design, so it might not be necessarily this what you get, but you can get something like that. TV needs to be bigger, just my opinion. <laughs> no, it's a beautiful feature though. Yeah. And then we have the three other windows here for more natural light into the bedroom. Love that. But no luxury primary bedroom suite is done without. Now I gotta move the curtain out the way. Your access door to the pool area from your bedroom. Some people just like to get up in the morning and dip in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there you go. Now guys, no more teasing. We're gonna go back through this hallway and we're gonna go to your special place. <laughs> Look at this primary bathroom. This is incredible. Now, first we're gonna start off with the commode, which is up front with the window, but I do love that it has a pocket door that separates the room. So let me do that for you, Pam, here. So I love that for space saving and such. No swinging doors into the to uh, toilet, that's really nice. Look at this marble looking floor, gorgeous, gorgeous. As we roll through, dual vanities on this side with a long uh, um, vanity um, surface, two large mirrors that go up to the ceiling. There is a tray ceiling, and then we move over to a three window set right in front of your deep soak tub. Love that. Go ahead, Pam. It's 15 by 23. 15 by 20. I'm, I, when I came in here the first time, guys, I told Pam, yeah, you can dance in here. <laughs> Literally, you can dance in here. Now, the built-ins, again, options with Design Center. So if that's your look, if not, you can do what you want here. But then we move on to the glass wall and door of your shower space. I mean, look at that rainhead shower. It's the size of Captain America's shield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we have three transom windows on the top side as well. Schluter edging on the niche in the gray color, so they keep in, in uh, the theme, right? Also with that gray Calcutta um, tile or marble. We have our tool sets here. Okay, I'm standing in the shower. No, I'm not turning it on, <laughs> man. <you>. No <laughs> I love how they made the drain seamless with the with the uh, tile floor. That's very modern. Very nice. Very, very well done. Love it. And we're going to let Pam come out. She's getting a little edgy thinking Thank I'm going to turn the water on. Because <laughs> you would you would do it. And um, But go ahead. Yeah. So this long cabinet is included. Yes. What's the difference mm -hmm. is, is the width of this. Right. So Pam was explaining that you what you do is, as a small upgrade is the width of the actual quartz or marble here, right? That gives it the difference in price, but this is included, the built-in itself. So guys, I hope you love the Savannah, right? 
I hope that this is the home for you. If it is in Bella Kalina Golf Course Community, right on Mount Tavert, give us a call, 407-790-0929. Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, hit the subscribe and alert down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs>